Hey there guys and welcome back to more Let's Play Jade Cocoon 2. I am your host Rabbit and in our previous episode we just began exploring the final section of the water forest. We're in water return. We just knocked out the first island of the four available to us. So let us continue onward and access number two. And you know what? I was entertaining the idea of actually going back to the temple just because I don't want to risk losing any of the comma that we have picked up. I guess to extend this here, this opening and recap here, we got a Dacon Q and a Garrel Horn. So it would be quite tragic if we ended up losing all that we have picked up along the way, but I think we should be fine. If I'm feeling not entirely confident, once we're done with this second island here, then we may go back to the temple. We'll just have to see how things kind of unfold. And oh my god, another comma, please. Please. Be Chunky Walter. I need more heals. I need, what is it, Meta Knight, I think, is what it is called. Oh no! We're never going to get this, you guys. This game is going to continue to troll until it cannot troll anymore. Watch, it'll be literally the last thing we pick up, but I suppose it's fine. I also do still need to make another trip to the fire forest, to that last one, whatever it's called, fire, was it fire throne? Whatever it's called, you guys know what I'm referencing, where we ended up taking on Nam and getting our handy dandy fire orb. I kind of want to run back through that a little bit just to make sure we didn't miss any fire comma. As far as I know, there's not going to be another reason for us to go back outside of my own curiosity regarding uh, our collection of Kalma and Divine Beasts, etc, etc. So I may want to take the initiative and do that as well. So that might be like a little side thing that I do. Ideally, I would find... I'm just going to let you... Okay, he fell asleep. <laughs> Works for me. Ideally, we would get the divine beast that gives us meta knight and that way i could give it to fizzy because he's ready to merge he's level 16 i believe at this point which is a bit bad because i like to merge them as soon as they hit 15 but i mean they'll continue to grow up until level 20 so i have a tad bit of wiggle room but not as much as i would like so i'm hoping in these next couple of levels we'll find the divine beast that will or the calm i should say that will grant us meta knight i also have been mentioning that i'm thinking about getting rid of tishu and giving walter meta knight again but i see that as being a bit of overkill i don't know if we need fizzy and walter to heal so i might give fizzy an offensive ability i don't know you guys i just have a lot of options and a lot of pondering to do and oh perfect timing everything is restored and these are the types of areas that I love, that where they're straightforward, not too many branching paths, easy for me, and I like it. <laughs> and we're doing pretty good damage. So I don't feel like we should be too concerned about this. I also do want to revisit the fire area because I do want to knock out that last battle arena that we did encounter. I had to pussy out. Well, I didn't have to, but I opted to pussy out because just out of a fear of losing anything that we had acquired, I think I had a couple of Kalma in tow at that point, and it just, for me, wasn't worth the risk. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. My fire side is so beast. And Earth got a level. Great. So let us continue. Oh, no. Why? I guess I should have just rushed him and gotten him while the initiative would have still been mine. All right. Let's try to put him to sleep. I do also want to give Chachi a bit of time to recover his mana. But we're doing okay. No one went to sleep, but we did get poison off, which I guess is okay. You guys already know the drill with these Meta Knight cast and Walters. Oh, well, if they decide not to, well, I guess it doesn't matter because we'd only damaged one anyway. Also, in other news, I feel like <laughs> since nothing else is really going on quite yet, um, there's not too much interesting. I guess there aren't. I'm trying to think. Is there another interesting thing I can really even share with you? No, I don't think so. I guess we've been getting a lot of crazy, crazy weather, so I'm hoping we'll get 
a snow day or two in the next week, maybe the next two weeks. I don't know how long these blizzards and shitty storms are supposed to occur, but Colorado is going to get hit with a lot, a lot, a lot of snow, which is bittersweet for me. I like the way snow looks the first day that it falls, maybe even arguably the second day. But after that second day, you know, it just starts to get really muddy and gross from people walking on it. And I don't know, it just doesn't look so nice. And okay, we need to put all of them to sleep. Fizzy, please. Well, I can't blame Fizzy. He's doing the best he can. I need that next sleep ability. Well, we'll try it again. Gosh, these fights can take forever. And we got nothing. Nothing. We're not going to kill anyone. <gasps> Oh, they gave us our chance. That's perfect. Okay. I am going to try. Please, you guys, someone attack the guy in the corner. Or both of you attack the same person. Or, you know, nobody attack. Oh, my God. You guys, can you believe this? Look at this bullshit. What am I supposed to even do with this? Oh, my gosh. That is beyond aggravating. Now, can you two get it together? And please attack the same person, or... Alright, please let that one on the corner die. Oh, thank goodness they didn't cast Meta Knight! The game probably felt sorry for me. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, I feel like Snow looks nice the first day or two, and then afterwards, you know, people have been walking on it, and it's been shoveled and, you know, pushed off the streets, and so it's got a lot of mud mixed in it and filth, and it just doesn't look so nice after that. I just feel kind of itchy and dirty when the snow looks that bad i don't know so i'm not a fan of day three and onward snow it is not my idea of a beautiful wonderland we'll go ahead and give that to chachi just so we're not taking up space and i need to get some heels off in our next fight here well this has been very oh okay here we go here we go the branching paths uh, i'm gonna wait on that one there's that oh well i got outplayed <laughs> i should have just waited a second longer and that would have been it well let's go ahead and do this and then i'll just rotate around get a heal or two off probably only one well that's assuming these things live through earth and patrick's oh, okay they will they will at least one will survive he will survive he will survive so I'm hoping for a snow day. That would be wonderful. I'm sure you guys <laughs> are like, whatever, rabbit. That's not fair. Snow day's for you. But hey, you guys, I've been dealing with blizzards and all kinds of terrible ass weather. And I really don't even mind the cold. I just don't like, I just don't like the nasty third day snow, I think is really my problem. And we got a heal off. I'm not going to even stay here. We'll just finish him up. Or shizzle. I guess kind of as an aside, this isn't nearly, I guess, as scandalous as <laughs> the stories I've been sharing with you about the school and all of that fun stuff that's been kind of going down. Oh my gosh, so many paths. Where is the... Where is the... Oh my gosh. Well, is that... Well, I guess I'll just come back this way. I feel like the Prince's Vine was over where I was starting to head before deciding to turn around. But anyway, in terms of other stories that aren't really scandalous, but maybe worth sharing, at least while we're dungeon crawling here, our landlord kind of freaks the fuck out. Was it two days ago? I don't even remember. And dates, I guess, don't matter, or timelines don't matter when I'm just sharing this random shit with you. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna have to put this shit on pause. Uh, well, actually, I guess we're okay. I was going to heal, but we'll see. Hey, hey, let's do what two beast hunters do when they're alone. Fuck. Huh? What's that? Battle. Come on, here goes. Hey, that's a good way to pick someone up, you know? Because if they're like, yeah, let's battle, then you're like, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm not pulling any punches. Okay. Let's start the battle. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not too worried about this, but let's go ahead and start with Ramakia. So anyway, our landlord, who I've talked to you guys briefly about before, that I like more than Andrew, my husband, does. He is a little concerned just that she's a bit nosy, and she's said some 
strange things to us before. <laughs> just, but she's a nice person. Let me just say that. Like she's very sincere, and I think she's generous um, from stories she shared. But she is a bit nosy. She is stuck in her ways, and I would say she is a little quirky. That's probably the nice way of putting it. She's just a little odd, but not in a harmful or extremely off-putting way. She's just different, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay, whatever. I guess that's what I need. We've got lame-ass Ramakia, and I need to be getting Rem Remakites? Ramakites going? We really need to get some of these upper-level abilities. But it's fine. We've been holding our own. Our team isn't super bad, <laughs> so I'll take it. Hopefully Patrick will kill that guy on the corner. That would be lovely. That would be most lovely. Come on, Patrick, don't let me down. Ah, oh, Patrick, you let me down. And if their defenses go up, I'm going to have to get some sleep and or poison off. That's what I have to do, or wait it out. I think it's three turns that that shit lasts. Well, since we all share, going back to my story, our landlord's house, so I've explained like the breakup of this with you guys before. She owns this very big house, and she kind of converted it into three sections, well, four sections, I suppose. One section is a one bedroom, one bathroom unit that she's renting out to some girl that works somewhere out of state, so she's not even there that often, or she's only there every other night, something like that. I don't even know the girl because she's on the other side of the house. The house is really big. It's two stories, and before she had converted it, I would say it was probably, let me think, one, two, three, four bedrooms, and then three baths. Yeah, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. So, it, I mean, two stories, four beds, three baths. That is not tiny at all. And I mean, for her, it was absolutely too big because she'd only had two sons and she was divorced. So, you know, there were just three people living here and her, her boys grew up. So she wanted to do something with the house and not just sell it. And I guess for her, she figured why not rent it out? And she also owns a couple separate rental properties. So it just made sense in her mind to section the home off. So anyway, there's a one bedroom, one bath towards the back end of the house that has its own entrance. And so none of us really see the girl that comes and goes because she's in the very back. Then the upstairs is where our landlord slash roommate, whatever you want to call her, she has her PhD in psychology. So she actually has converted one very small area. So it's just like a, a foyer and then there's a room that comes off the foyer that she converted into her private practice. So she has an office and counseling room and then like an, a special entryway for all of her clients to come and go privately so that my husband and I don't see her clients and the girl who lives on the other side don't see the clients. So then outside of that, so those are the two sections so far, the two left. One is where our landlord herself actually lives. So she has a living room, a kitchen, her bedroom, and then a bathroom. And a guest room, I, I suppose, because her grandson will occasionally come and stay. And then there's where my husband and I live, which is the downstairs. So I guess it was an unfinished basement. And then she kind of added an extra room and converted and did all this stuff. So it's really nice. So we live basically in the downstairs. It's one and a half beds, I suppose. It's two bedrooms, but one is an office for us because it's a little small. I guess it'd be good if you had a child where you put like one of uh, those twin sized beds in there. That's the only way I could see it being an appropriate size bedroom. So for us, it's a we have a bedroom, an office, a humongous living room, a huge bathroom, our own washer and dryer in a private laundry room. And then we have a medium sized kitchen and dining room kind of all combined. So it's like I said, the house was pretty big and she did a lot of like adding in extra rooms or sectioning things off to make more space than was previous that previously there or that felt like was previously there. So anyway, that's kind of the breakdown. Well, although we all have separate entrances, so she did a really nice job of making it feel like even though we all technically share one house, it feels like we have our own areas, but we are still connected at the same time. So, I mean, there are stairs leading from our portion of the home to her portion of the home, and then there's a place from her portion of her home that connects to where the girl who lives on the other side lives. So. 
technically we're all still in one house, but it still feels sectioned off. Anyway, I digress. I don't know why I'm giving you all the details. I guess I'm leading up to say that it still feels like there is some balance and there is some distance, even though we all still see each other and hear each other from time to time, depending on what's going on. Well, I will continue in just a second. Ouch! What was that? Was you What's getting the wrecked? Of this? The meaning of this is your failure. So give me my. <laughs> Many beast hunters have passed ahead of me. They'll never run out. Well, you should get good. That's my advice to you. Oh my God, that XP! Excellent, as usual. You came with a strong attack. I was so surprised. Hey, you okay, sir? Guppy to you. But I'm okay. Oh, yes, I'll give you this. The symbol of my respect. My non metal, what is this? Number three? Oh, <gasps> it's our second one! Give me something rare. Oh, my. You have collected lots. I'm so glad. I'll give you this, too. Please treasure it. Dice now. Really? Well, then, see you. I'm pretty sure we've had dice snacks before. I... Ah, that is... That is... That is disappointing. I'm 90% sure we've had a dice snack before. Oh, you guys, that really blows. That really, really blows. I think I can beat you next time. I doubt it. Well, I guess it is what it is. Shit, I was hoping for something super rare. I mean, maybe dice snacks are rare, but if you recall, there was an area... Wait, okay, I got that already. There was an area, I can't remember if it was in the Earth Forest? I think it is in the Earth. Maybe it's in the Wind slash Air Forest? I don't know. But where you find those little... Oh, another comma! Where you find those mixing plants, and I spent a while getting rare eggs out of that. So I guess maybe it was for naught because, God damn it, Slugalant, this is still not what I need. I need a Meta Knight. Ah! Well, that's fine, game, whatever. Well, I'll hold off on telling you guys the, <laughs> the landlord story, I guess, since we will end this episode after this. I'm trying to keep these episodes not too ridiculously long, but I do, I guess, just want to end this opening part of the story by saying I do like the setup of our house and it's cheaper than renting from an apartment i've shared with you guys before that where we live in colorado is grossly overpriced for no reason at all it's just i don't know i'm not a big fan i don't like it here my husband doesn't even really like it here i just i don't know i think if you were going to live here i would strongly recommend just buying a house because renting is absurd so like a one bedroom one bath that's near the downtown area can cost you like eleven hundred dollars per month or i mean a shitty one might run you like nine hundred but that's still ridiculous for one bedroom one bath nine hundred dollars a month in a shitty part of town that's not close to the campus or close to the downtown area i don't know about you guys but that sounds like a total scam to me so what we pay right now is still in my opinion too much but it is reasonable for the city that we're in and it's nice because it is a house so we have a yard and we are literally right beside a nature trail so there's i don't know i just feel like there's a lot to really appreciate and enjoy about being here i feel like we have access to just a lot of nature and it makes me feel it makes me feel like even if I am just throwing money away to someone else, at least I'm getting something out of it as opposed to just giving someone money for nothing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You guys, I don't want this to hit that 20 minute mark and I better go ahead and <laughs> get into the screen so that monster doesn't get to us. But I am your host, Rabbit. This is my playthrough of Jade Cocoon 2. I will sign off with you right now. And when we come back together, we will continue exploring this area. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.